I was on the roof as well. Oh, that's it. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the 15 Dark Ops calling cards slash challenges in Black Ops 4. So starting with the first one is Obtained, which is on Dark Matter. Camo uh, by earning diamond on all weapons in the game. This includes every single prime weapon and every secondary weapon. I have to get diamond on all of them. So the next four is the Relentless Killer, Brutal and nuclear nuke tower in the same category. It's basically the nuclear but just you know in free for all. I have 766 relentlesses, which is quite a lot. 193 brutals now. 226 nucleus, that's a lot of brutal uh, nukes choked. And nuke tauts, I've had about 10 uh, nuke tauts, so, uh, so yeah, it's not too bad. So the next type is the multi kill. So here you have the frenzy kill, which is 5, mega, which is 6. Ultra which is 7 and kill check which is more than 7 so about 8, you know 8 plus. There yeah, that's what, that's what you call the feet. oh my god. So I have 902 frenzy kills now, getting quite close to 1000. 372 mega kills, which again is quite a lot, which kill 148 and 146 kill change which is Alright, it's just that I've choked more than half of them basically. Yeah, I could be on at least 300 skill change right now. But no, I'm only sat 146. Alright, the next one is Gem Down, which is the one I got today. Which is another Dark Matter challenge, so you have to have Dark Matter to complete two of the Dark Ops uh, challenges. And this one is get a new, um, the highest tier of Dark Matter, which is the purple one, which is this one here, the purple tier and this has to be done on every single prime weapon so every AR, SMG, um, tactical, LMG and sniper so this one you can complete probably in one game and that's 25 kills underwater and you have to be under the water like fully submerged and the enemy has to be on land Must be done for primary or secondary weapon. I suggest you do these on maps such as Contraband. You have that water area in the middle right there. The next one is Shrug It Off, which is survive a direct hit from an enemy you uh, who's using the RCXD. You have to kill the enemy who is driving the RCXD. So again, this is sort of luck based. The next one is Copy Count, which is the one I completed yesterday. We should get 10 shutdown medals against enemies who are using the Annihilator. <laughs> Wait, oh, I've got a, a Dark Ops calling card with the Annihilator or the Mozu. So I suggest you use this class here, which is the Compact Scope, Compact, uh, compact Scope, Stabilizer, Speed Reloader, and the Operator Mod, which is an int skill to the head basically. Quite easy against the annihilator, so you can get these medals pretty, you know, easily. Right, the second to last is the fight with fire, which I completed three days ago. When you have to kill the enemy who is using the purifier, you have to kill them with a molotov, which is quite difficult because the uh, molotov doesn't kill them instantly. So they have to basically stand there in the molotov, or they either have to be sort of like 10 HP, then you have to chuck a molotov for them. Last but not least is the get out of here. Calling card, which you just get a shutdown medal by killing an enemy that's activated their grass slam who are still in the air after using the um, grapple. That's every calling card. These are my current stats. Should reach 28,000 headshots today. Just reached 60 days played as well, which is, you know, that's quite crazy, I think. Average of 44 million school. And yeah, these are my stats. If you want to pause the video or 
you know, just rewind it. So medals. What's up, 1,600 Rufus is now. Our most useful specialist is Crush, as you all know by now. Mm. Once that 100,000 bonus from the uh, Salt Pack. Alright, guys.